physicsinfo.co.uk Another in the series of Physics GCSE Tutorials. Topic 15 Forces and Matter Combined Science Stretching and Bending Stretching, bending or compressing an object, such as a spring, requires more than one force. A suspended spring may be pulled down by a weight, that's a force, but it is at the same time pulled up by the stand that's supporting it. The spring is suspended from a clamp stand with a mass hanger hanging from the bottom. 50 gram mass has already been added. The hanger is set up at zero. So 50 grams is now added and the extension recorded. 2.1 centimetres. Another 50 grams is added, so that's two added masses, and again the extension recorded. 4.4 centimetres. And another 50 grams. Note the use of the reference point at the bottom of the mass hanger. 6.5 centimetres. 1 more mass. 8.5 centimetres. And another mass is added. Ten point six centimetres. And finally, the last mass, and this will give us six readings. 12.8 centimetres. To improve the experiment, the readings could be repeated as the masses are unloaded. And here are the results. Grams are converted to newtons by multiplying by the value of g. And, as always, here is the inevitable graph. For historical reasons, to do with the original testing machines, force is always plotted up the side and extension along the bottom. I know force was our independent variable, but the original machines were set up to see how much force was required to stretch by a fixed amount. As always, the graph should be as big as possible with sensible axes. So in this case, working in centimetres along the bottom going from 0 to 13 and working in newtons up the side going from 0 to 3.5. Zero, 0, once again, is a valid point and should be plotted. The plots clearly produce a straight line. A line of best fit should be drawn with a ruler going through 0, 0. The gradient of this line will be force over extension, or F over X. The gradient is constant for any particular spring, and this is called the spring constant, K. This graph produces a straight line going through the origin. It is directly proportional. And this straight line shows that the relationship is linear. There are two equations that relate to this graph. The spring constant K is equal to the force divided by the extension, or K equals F over X. The energy transferred in stretching the spring, E, is equal to a half kx squared. You need to know the first and be able to use the second. 
Under small loads, a spring is elastic as it bounces back to its original shape. If something stretches and then remains distorted, this is called inelastic distortion. And this could happen to a spring under a very large load, for example. And that's it. Thank you for watching.